This is a difficult video to make, but we are here to report the news in the comic industry, and this is quite the happening on April 1st. It is not a April Fool's joke. Please, of course, pray for Ed Piscor and his family. This is uh, some terrible stuff that's going down after his cancellation last week by Jim Rugg. And uh, let's get into the news today. My name's John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator, editor, and chief of Phantom Pulse. If you appreciate my reporting here, please definitely hit that like and subscribe button. We are growing here and, of course, taking on uh, all these antics in the mainstream comic industry, all the cancel culture out there, and I appreciate you for being here. All right, the story of the day is Ed Piscor. Uh, over the weekend... Jim Rugg canceled him. Now, the two are a pair, they call it themselves Cartoonist Kayfabe. They have almost 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, and they've been working together forever. And so to see Jim Rugg just throw him under the bus that quickly was, was kind of a shock uh, to the fans, to Ed Piscor, to even to me. I was like, wow, uh, you know, I mean, these are some weird DMs that are showing up, but at the same time, you would expect a guy's best buddy not to cancel him like that. I'm always under a lot of pressure to cancel people on this channel. It happens all the time. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I never do it uh, because this is something that, of course, when I have friends or even just acquaintances in the industry, I'm not here to just like throw somebody under the bus over some mob tactics. Uh, this has gone on with me for a while, and of course, I didn't do it. Now, this is different in the mainstream industry. The mainstream comic industry is a place of fear. It's a, a place of corruption. It's a place of nepotism. So everybody at all times is on their toes, uh, you know, with the, with this little whisper network that is, uh, you know, liable to just shut down somebody's life. And that's exactly what happened with Ed Piscor over the last couple of weeks. So let's exactly look what he said. He actually now, of course, came out, and again, this is where it's going to get a little hard. Um, he put out a note saying he's going to end his life. And uh, so if you are sensitive, definitely tune out now. Uh, this is uh, this is really sad. And, and gosh, like I said, I've been praying for Ed Piscor. I, I hope that uh, he's going to, uh, you know, reevaluate this before this happens. This isn't worth it. But here's what he says this morning. This is his post. He says, I'm helpless against a mob of this magnitude. Please, please share this, uh, my side of things, sayonara. And he posts this note from Google Docs. And which is really long, and it calls out the the everybody in his con in the comic industry whisper network. This gets really interesting, um, and these are the people that have worked to destroy lives, destroy careers for their own clout for a long, long time. He names names. We're going to get into that now, right here uh, where he starts off. Ed Piscor says, I'm sorry for being stupid. I definitely should have never talked with Molly D. The language and optics look real dumb, but I promise my innocence. And this is where it gets interesting because we had some DMs that were shown by this lady uh, showing her side of things. And then, you know, they were clearly not in context, not in any conversation. And I do believe that, you know, as, as much as he says he was just talking uh, with somebody, I, you know, I don't think he'd be talking with a man like this and calling him naughty boy. Uh, I think he was flirting and poorly flirting, uh, just from my analysis. But, you know, this is this is all speculation. What Ed, Ed Pisker says here is that he's innocent. He never want, implied that he was going to uh, try to sleep with this young girl. Uh, he said he no way he'd have a 17-year-old or 18-year-old stay at his place. He was talking about after COVID, uh, you know, maybe, maybe if you needed a place to stay, he claims. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, when I said naughty girl, it was sarcastic after she told me some simple crime or infraction she committed. Uh, that does add some context to it, if that's true. The whole pile of my DMs collected is awful to look at. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to offer professional favors to anybody or use my position. What a joke to get into anyone's pants. We're all in the art game. Why not introduce new friends to old friends? I don't know. Uh, like I said, I, I think he was poorly flirting. Uh, it's weird because she's 17 and he's you know close to 40. That's uh, that's something that uh, is is pretty gross, uh, regardless of how you look at it. Uh, does he deserve to completely lose his career uh, and and more over this? Uh, you know, I mean, I don't think so. Uh, but that's uh, that's how it works. So here it is. Uh, he 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 calls out the uh, Pittsburgh City paper, who actually showed up at his father's house. It was really weird last week. Uh, you know, demanding comments and putting it on film. It was it was a weird expose journalism on somebody who's just like a minor YouTuber. Uh, but that's what they did. Uh, now this one, uh, Molly Wright, this is, uh, they're both named Molly, these girls. Now the first one was, uh, the 17 year old, uh, turning 18, as mentioned, this one is an older lady, uh, and she came out and, uh, and made other allegations with him. She was not a minor. There were consenting adults. It looked like, 
Uh, and he tells his side of the story to make it sound like she was uh, definitely the aggressor in the relationship, and she's acting now as a woman scorned. Uh, and then her timing of her allegations, of course, made the other one seem more valid, uh, which, of course, tried to kill uh, Ed Piscor's career. So uh, he says, I'm a solitary guy. I've put every ounce of my time and my life and my work around the last 20 years. Never felt satisfied with my skill. I constantly worked really hard, Tried to, uh, tied it all to my identity and self-worth. Every waking moment was spent working, and I, ideally, I thought it was best to have all friends who share the same passion. It's why I offered to introduce them to my friends. It's like my cherished Japan trips, introducing Konji Sean to Brian Moss, Moss to Scheme, Scheme to Danica. I was the only person who knew everybody on the trip, and by the end of it, we were all friends. Social media was how I met people. My greatest relationships began at the end of COVID, thanks to meeting on Instagram. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't know. He was picking up chicks on Instagram. <laughs> now it's all gone. Art show evaporated. Uh, I'll, was about to sign a 75K deal for Switchblade shorties with Abrams. Cartoonist Kayfabes ends with Jimmy. That's Jim Ruggs. Shocking revelation statement. Now, this is the statement where he canceled him in just one Instagram post for, for no reason. I have no friends in this life any longer. I'm a disappointment to everybody who liked me. I'm a pariah. News organizations at my doors hassling my elderly parents. It's too much. Putting our addresses on TV. Yeah, they doxed him. It was crazy. How could I ever go back to a small town where everyone knows me? Some good people reached out and tried to help me. I'm just not strong enough. Very sad stuff. Um, and uh, and this is where it really goes off the rails uh, to what he's doing here. Now, he does start to call out some other people in the comic industry, and I am... Uh, most interested in that because we know that there is a comic industry whisper network that does try to destroy people for their own clout. We know it's it's been around for a while, and this kind of validates everything we've been saying for a while. I mean, it's not in the way we would want it to happen. Like I said, only hope that Ed Piscor turns this around here. Uh, but here it is. Uh, here's what he says. Daryl A.O. Braitwaith called it a kill shot. You all got your wish. You were waiting for something to blow out of proportion, and it got served to you on a silver platter. And here's where he names names. Ramon Villalobos. This guy's a total scum uh, who has been out there uh, trying to hurt people for a long time. Cam Del Rosario, J.B. Rowe, Molly Wright, congratulations. You got your pound of flesh. Evan Dorkin. Now, this guy uh, is a indie artist who gets uh, lots of... Uh, uh, Eisner Awards uh, and and accolades and all that, and of course is a, a serial leftist with weirdos. This is interesting too. I hope the skeletons from your closet get revealed someday. Uh, Alex De Campi, who's one of the uh, her entire mo is victim identity politics. She's been trying to cancel people on the internet since she got started in her career. She's done some indie stuff. Really, really never got above there because her talent level is just not there. And this is really savage by Piscor. May you continue to have zero success no matter how hard you continuously leverage other people's business from your bully pulpit. Wow. Uh, the very next morning after Molly D. Prose's the screenshots, I put my last will and testament together. Uh, these were the papers I was trying to hide from you, Jimmy, Jim Rugg, when you came by with soup. I actually found a nice lady and witnesses who notarized it and made it official. How's that for efficiency? He goes on and he said he can't recover from this and the shame and he... he you know, says he's going to be ending it. He posts, actually, he posts up his phone number and stuff, so which we're not going to show on the channel here, of course. Um, and I really hope that he's getting help, doesn't take any drastic steps. I hope this is a cry for help. I hope somebody finds him and helps him. Because honestly, like, you know, the comic industry is not something like <laughs> that, like, matters enough to, uh, you know, really end it over. The best way to, of course, anytime you do anything bad or wrong or that, uh, Ed, I hope you, I hope you watch this, and I hope you do understand, is to repent of what you've done, accept the Lord Jesus Christ, move forward, and live your life from God, and that that's the only way, really forward for any of us in life. If we just work for God, we will do very well. If we work for ourselves, it's going to cause problems, and that's 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 the case with everything. So please, uh, I'm praying for you, Ed Piscor, and my whole community is as well. Uh, we don't want any harm to come to you. Uh, we don't want any harm to come to anybody. Uh, this is uh, something very, very serious and very, very sad on a Monday to report, and we'll have more as it comes along. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit the like and subscribe button, my friends. We'll be back soon.